I S U P K. Yo. I thought with a bomb clap to them boy, yeah, man. Bad mind I'm gonna kill them. Suffocate on a pussy wall. Yo, status. Tell some boys we don't chat us. Anyway, my dog go in on the street, them bad. Gun talking up with jeans, member. If any somebody ever treat them bad, send the pussy them, but meet them God. Louis V kicks, pun we feed them bad. Catch a new drip, dog, we beat them bad. Look how we just come and we a beat them bad. You know, sister, we is them dad. Hey, but anyway, though, this are no playground. The Glock 19, they have to stay round. Now nah, take no check with me payroll. Anything rise up, play down. They must send check, but they won't. Dark, we will make it step if they don't. But at the same old, same old. Said them want smoke, but they grab a ton flame out. A couple of yalla come through. We are the ICPK. Out of 1 West 121st Street, Alam, New York. Under Commander General Yahana. We are not affiliated with any religious organization. Alright? We have been teaching the truth that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, Arawaks, Caribs, indigenous people today are the true children of the, of the, of the Bible. Right. All right? The 12 tribes of the Lord, of the lost tribes of Israel, we are the descendants. Okay? And what we're going in today, going in to do today is show that criminals cannot stop crime. Right. When you think about criminals, you usually think about the people in John John, beat them, the people at the bottom. Right. The victims of crime, actually. All right? When the true criminals are the so-called religious leaders. Yes. That's right. They are the people that have been teaching so-called Black Hispanics and Native American Indians that the laws that are designed to protect our households, our communities, to make sure that we go right, to teach our people how to actually live with one another, to teach our people how to deal with all manner of issues and finances and all these different structures that the Lord put in place. To his law. This is, the, this is the guidance and the protection, the wisdom that he was speaking about. If right. we keep these things, we'll be on top. We would have no need to be suffering at the side of the, side, the, the sidewalks lying down on the ground that our people are famously known for, which is a shame, disgustingly a shame because of how much money is passed through these, these Caribbean islands, to Trinidad in particular, all these different places throughout the world. All right, given Jeremiah chapter 23, sorry, um, Jeremiah 3 and 15, Baba Kosha. Yeah. It's imperative to understand what the Lord actually wants. Who the Lord is calling to teach these, these, um, these laws, these commandments, the judgment, the right thinking, the way of approach, the way of dealing with everything on the face of the planet. It's important to understand who are these men that the Lord calls and who are, the, who are the people that are actually causing more harm and danger to the children of Israel, to us, so-called Black Hispanics and Native American Indians. Right. right. Jeremiah 3 and 15. Mm -hmm. I will give you pastors according to my heart. According, the Lord will give us pastors according to his heart. And not the men that want to think that they know what to do. And they pop up at every church around every corner. And I have no regard, I have no sincerity, I have no care for so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Indians. All right? We done. We shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. We shall feed you with knowledge and understanding every time you ask a Christian, what have you learned every time that you step out of these doors on a Sunday? They have no answer for you. Right. If there was an answer, if the pastors were doing their jobs, the ghettos, they would not have any ghettos. There wouldn't be a place if all the way all people are struggling to pay light bills and all these different things. And every time that we have an issue, they say talk to God, but when they want money, they say give and the Lord will bless you. Right. Which is a lie. That's our right. people are being hoodwinked, our people are being mama guided. That's they right. are being deceived by That's these so-called right. religious leaders and they. That's right. These people do not care about you. These people care about what everybody else thinks that stuff their pockets. That's right. They give them the, the, the mechanism to rob, steal, steal and molest. Sorry to say that. But this is the actual truth. Alright? Also, give me Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 5 to 6, please. Alright? These pastors have been was too long lying to so-called Black Hispanics and Native Indians about who the Lord is actually speaking to, what the Lord is, what is, what the Lord is designed for, what the law is designed for, and who it actually is designed to teach the Bible. Go ahead. 
Je vous dis, Henry chapter 4, verse 5. Good. Behold, I have taught you statues and judgments. This is our brother. This is the man of our own kinsmen, our own flesh, our own race, our own nation. This is Moses here saying that he taught us, as the Lord taught him, to teach so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Go ahead. Even as the Lord my God commanded me. So the Lord commands Moses, the Lord commands us to keep his laws, statutes, commandments, judgments, and teach it unto our people. But the so-called leaders, leaders, they don't teach us any laws. They say the Lord, they say the law is gone, it's done away with. So what it is you would use to defend your family? What would you use to teach your people what is right and what is wrong? What is acceptable to the Lord? How to keep us from being punished? How to keep us from hating one another? Read on. That you shall do so in the land, whether you go to possess it. Anywhere that we go, especially that time, what he was speaking about is when we go into the land of Canaan, where the Lord was blessing us to set up a structure. So he taught it. Most of Moses taught us. These are the things that you need to teach the children of Israel. This is going to make sure that we have a right society. We done? Verse 6. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and understanding. So he said to keep therefore and do all these laws, statutes, commandments, judgments. These are the things that are going to make sure that, that you have a right to in society. These are the things that are going to make sure that you, that you don't end up in poverty. These are the things that make sure that, that, you, that you don't end up in um, with diseases and, and, and sicknesses and you don't know how to fix certain issues in the community. Like how we have too much um, black and black violence. We have too much unforgiveness between one another and not enough forgiveness for and, and too much forgiveness for the other for the other people, for the other nations on the face of the earth. Right. The other people in society. All these people get our love, our attention, our affection, all our forgiveness and we don't have enough for the man that, that living right next to us. And this is by design because these religious leaders don't teach you that you are the children of Israel, that you are the people that the Lord gave the laws that his commandments and judgments. You are the people that, that have to apply the law to make sure that this and that no peril, not, no harm, no danger come to one another. If there's any issue, anything that ever fall out, this is the way to fix it. Because I give you a law, I give you a guideline, I give you a manual to use. You know? In the sight of the nations, uh -huh. we shall hear all these statues and say, Surely, this is a great nation! Right, right, so, when the Lord said, these are the things that you're going to show to prove what it is that a society is supposed to be run on. These other nations, what they used to do is, they used to say, that surely this is a great, this is a wise people and understanding because of the structure that they use, because of the manual, the, the God of Israel that gave us this manual. This is the thing that makes sure that things run alright. Right. We right. don't. Is a wise and understanding people. This is the wise and understanding people. These are people that understand, hey, this is what to do, this is what not to do. This is going to make sure you follow that we could continue to teach each other from years and years to come on, years and years to continue to build a proper society. Make sure that we have enough livestock, make sure we have enough money, make sure we have enough groceries, make sure that things don't run out. If there's famine, anything like that, you prepare ahead of time. All these different things you find in the Bible, this was given to us, and you know what? But they just they say, they say the Lord done away with. But here we're going to make sure that you pay, you understand the tithe, which is a law also, but it's what, it was never designed to line the pockets to go and buy Bentleys, to go and buy jets, to go and buy all kind of different manner of uh, 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 things that they just lustfully continue to use, just to continue to lick up. That's right. That you have an idea, you follow that this is what the Lord put in place so that we make sure that we secure, make sure that we are well taken care of. We done? No. All right, give me my idea to the 33 and the 6. All right. So these false prophets, these religious leaders that are so puffed up and they don't know the Bible, but they won't humble down and say, let me go and find a place if all that actually teach the Bible. If somebody actually had a care and a, and a concern for their people, a, a concern for the country, people that congregate with them, they would make sure and find all, all the resources, all the information that they need to make sure the people in the church well taken care of. Right. That is never found in any of these religious organizations. That is not where their mind is. This is not a past. Those are not pastors that the Lord said fall after his own heart. These are the pastors, you understand, that the Lord wants to set up to make sure that the people is, is well taken care of, is taught right, is built strong, is built rigid, a bit solid and with integrity. We don't? Yeah. And wisdom and knowledge shall be st st stability of thy times. Right, so you the Lord saying, to the prophet Isaiah, he's saying, wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of your time. Right? 
The Lord is talking about the laws that this commandment, judgment that I give to you. This is going to be your wisdom. This is going to be the knowledge that you would need to continue to run the world all right. There's a, there's, a, there's, a clear difference, there's a clear difference in the way that we see things run today. If the, the, if the religious leaders that have the responsibility, so-called, to run the world all right, it would have been run all right. Because the Lord saying, wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of our time. You done? And strength of salvation. And the strength of your salvation, so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American Indian. That is being the diplomat of the society. The Lord is saying, the wisdom, knowledge, understanding that is, come, that is coming from the Bible, which is your records, I give this to you. This is going to be the stability of your time. The reason why our people are unstable and there's a lot of hellish conditions that we face, and we have to depend on everybody for everything, for water, for food, for, for, for clothing, to, 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 get a, to get a loan. We don't lend to anybody. We continue to be we're going to the subject or, or, or the topic every time that, that there's somebody to ridicule. There's somebody to take advantage of. We are the top of the, we are the, top of the list. We are the last fire and first fire. Right. There's nobody, nobody that stands in the, in, in, what you call it, in solidarity, in defense for the China Asia, for the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Indians. You know? The fear of the Lord is a stranger. Right. In the scriptures it says, you understand, that the fear of the Lord, that, that, that we obeying the Lord basically is, is, is how you just show that you fear. That's like a father. If you, if you honor your father, if you respect your father, the rules that he put down, the rules that the Lord put down for the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Indians, if you had fear them, you would obey them. The pastors have taught you not to fear the Lord by not obeying his, his laws and his commandments. That's what your pastors have done. They have put you in harm's way. This is what the religious leaders are responsible for. Every last one of them. They have put you in harm's way by saying, that the laws, statutes, commandments, and judgments of the Lord, which is your protection, is not done away with. Right. That is how serious this thing is. Give me Isaiah chapter 56, verse 10. So we must take a look and examine if we want to be truthful about what is happening on the face of the planet today, especially in our society, so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Indians, if these pastors are given by the Lord, if they are the one that the Lord is saying, pastors after my own heart. Are they that what it is we see in the scriptures here? Are they making sure that our communities are stable? Our households are stable? You know? Yeah. Isaiah 56 verse 10 His watchmen are blind. Those pastors, those religious leaders are blind. You know? They are all ignorant. They are all ignorant. They have no knowledge. They don't understand how to make sure that the societies run well. You know? They are all dumb dogs. The Lord is saying, the Lord is saying that these religious leaders are dumb dogs. You don't. They cannot bark. They cannot bark. They will not stand in defense for so-called black Hispanics and Native Indians. That's right. why, right? So that's why they say that these are niggers and they are, um, what you call it, um, zesters and, and, and roaches and all different manner of, of wickedness and different, and different terms that you see is only put on so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Because your, your, your religious leaders have not taught you how to live upright. How to live upright. They have not taught you how to make sure that you stay out of, out of the, the, the so-called long arm of the law. They have not taught you how to obey the Lord to make sure that nobody comes to bring harm and they can, they can call you harm. They can say that you are, are, are guilty of committing a crime. Right? Now, what you're, gonna, what you're gonna understand here is what is a crime? Okay. What are the laws that the Lord talking about not to break? What are the things that are gonna make sure that you stay, that you stay unharmed? Right. You stay in the right, in the right eyesight and under the protection of the Lord. First John chapter three verse This is extremely to note because without understanding what you are doing wrong, you can never fix it. The so-called religious leaders are not showing you what is right and what is wrong? What they are showing you is to, to move on your emotions. Your emotions will change. You will change the way you feel about things. The Lord has given you a template to make sure that you are stable. As He said in the Scripture, wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of your time right. and the strength and salvation. This is what's going to save the communities of so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Read on. First John chapter three verse four. Read on. Whosoever committed sin, whosoever of the children of Israel, the people that in this Bible, read on, transgressed also the law. So you, 
Your pastor have not taught you what is breaking the laws of the Most High. What is bringing your demise? What is causing you to be at the bottom of society? What is causing you to get all these different um, instances, all these different issues that we get caught up in? All these different, um, what you call it, drug running and, 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 and prostitution, all these different things that we get caught up in. Because the pastors have not taught you the laws of the Lord. Right. You know? For sin is a transgression of the law. Sin is the breaking of God's laws. Sin is not what they call a so-called bad word. Sin is not the thing that will make you feel or squirm. What you need to understand is what is the knowledge of the Lord and what sin is. When you understand what you're doing wrong, then and only then can you fix it. Without understanding that, our people continue to be destroyed. Our people continue to be gunned down. Our people continue to be in gang violence. Our people continue to be put into the prisons. Our people continue to be exploited. You understand? Know Destroyed. Our people continue to be subject to every evil under the sun that every other oppressor, every other colonial master decided they want to do anytime they wake up in the morning. Whatever makes them tingle, whatever makes them feel a rush in their blood to destroy and abuse the children of Israel. God's chosen and special people. These people have no fear for the Lord. They have not taught you. The so-called pastors and they side with them. Because in our society, that's just by our society alone, and throughout slavery, we are not, we don't have the, the resources, the money, the financial backing to raise up any religious institution, any one of these colleges, these so-called colleges that our so-called leaders, our so-called pastors learn from. The so-called oppressor, he is the man that had the money to set up those type of structures in place. That is what has, has, has continued to, to bring destruction throughout our communities. That has continued to be the, the, the weapon of choice in destroying the minds of so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Right? You may Exodus chapter 23 and verse 2. But hear what the Lord is saying with regards to them. These pastors have read the Bible. I'd rather listen to popcorn, but I'd rather listen to any word and lick of what these pastors have to say. Right. You understand? Because they read the Bible and see this. And what they do? Let's keep over it. Hear what the Lord is saying. Every, every so called religious leader, here's the Lord saying not to do. Go ahead. Exodus 23 and verse 2. Thou shalt not follow the multitude to do evil. You hear what? So-called religious leaders, go and tell your pastor, the ISPK on the command in General Johanna says, the Lord said, do not follow a multitude to do evil. You have read this in the Bible before. You have seen it and skip over it. You have not been proper judgment, righteous judgment to our communities. You have not stood for the Lord's people. You have continued to, uh, to exploit and, give a, and not give a, a care about any one of us. Read on. Neither, do, neither shall thou speak in, in cause to decline after many to risk judgment. But as the scripture said earlier on, they, they, they are like dumb dogs. They don't speak when there's an issue with us. They only speak when they want to get um, some, some, type, some type of a goal achieved. When they want to bring some type of, some type of crusade. Let's not go ahead and confuse you even more. Again, to spread the lies throughout our communities. They don't speak in a cause to defend the in Israel. They don't stand up in righteous judgment for us. They follow, they have not taught us how to make sure that we are not abused by the society, by any society, by any people, neither with one another. They have not taught us this. We don't. That's it? All right. But here's what the Lord's saying. When the pastors are saying, the Lord done it, here's what the Lord's saying. Here's what Christ's saying. The so-called black man from the tribe of Judah that came from our ghettos, the place where the cream of the crop dwell, where, in, when, where, where true integrity and, and care and love we see coming out of the ghettos as opposed to any one of these high pollutant places that so-called claim themselves to be some type of authority on the face of the planet, especially in our society. Right? This is what Christ saying out of his mouth. Here's what the Lord say. It's important to understand what Christ saying. That's why these, these pastors and they, they make sure they don't tell you because their agenda is not to make sure that you are defended. Their agenda is not to make sure that you are taken care of, that you are raised right, that you are taught how to serve the Lord, how to obey the Lord, so that the Lord don't bring any curses, any destruction to your places. You don't. Matthew 5 and 17. You don't. Think not that I have come to destroy the law. Think not, not for one minute. Think that the, that, that the Lord is sent to destroy anything, that Christ come to destroy anything. Hear what Christ is saying out of his own mouth. This is the one that the Lord said, this is my son, with whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. Listen to what Christ is saying. Go ahead. All the prophets, right? I'm not come to destroy, 
But to fulfill! Right, so Christ did not come to destroy anything. Your pastor's lying. Usually just leaders are lying. Christ did not destroy anything out of the law. What did he come to do? He has come to this, not to destroy, but to fulfill. But to fulfill what the prophets are saying. To give you understanding of how to deal with your brother, how to deal with your sisters, how to deal with, with governments, how to deal with anything. The righteous way. This is what Christ has come to show us. You know? For verily I say unto you, mm. till heaven and earth pass, when? one jot or one tittle. Right, so till heaven and earth pass, we see the heavens above and we see the earth underneath us. It's still here. So he's saying, till heaven and earth pass, which is that not pass, not one jot, which means a dot of the I, or one tittle across the T, will not pass, when? And no wise pass from the law. Shall the no wise pass from the law, till? Till all be fulfilled. Till all be fulfilled. So when he makes sure that you understand exactly what we have to do as the children of Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, when we understand that, then the follow will come. And then the earth is still above us, the earth is underneath us. So Christ didn't come and destroy nothing. He come and show us how to do it, how to live, how to please the most high, how to make sure that we live in peace with one another. Right. So what the Lord is saying again, time and time over, these are the things that you put in place to make sure that we don't suffer. To make sure that we don't suffer from, from diseases, to make sure that we have proper running societies, I mean our families, make sure the family structure is intact, the man is the head of the home, he guide the wife, he guide the children, he teach them how to be resourceful in their hands, to teach them all these different things is, is full in our law. To what I said, right? Yeah, so all these things the Lord is showing us, all these different things is, to, is things to make sure that they live right, to make sure that you don't suffer, to make sure that you are on top of as he always designed us to be. To make sure that we tell the society, we tell the world how to run right, how to make righteous judgment, how to deal with situation, how to deal with any epidemic, any type of war that come out. You follow the law, is, the Bible is full with that because your pastor doesn't touch one of them, it's unfamiliar to you. Right. What we say here may sound strange, but this is what the Lord called for too, for too long. He has, he has seen the cries and seen the, the hurt that happened to our people. He has seen our people being incarcerated. For small marijuana that they're looking to legalize us now. What is going to happen with this, brothers and sisters? Follow? If your pastor was teaching you the law, you'd have never touch it. You'd have never do that in the first place. Just as we know that the red light means stop, the green light means go. You would have never broken the laws of the Lord. That's right. You understand? Your pastor has not, have not taught you that. Your pastor does not love you. Your pastor is an instrument of destruction. He's a sellout. That's right. You understand? That's what your pastor is. You follow? He's a detriment to the society. You know? Matthew 19, verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So the man is saying, A upright man, a man one that wants to live upright, he's saying, Master, what good thing I do? Or what good thing I could do then to make sure I secure the kingdom? Make sure I secure a place in the kingdom then? What are you saying, man? Verse 17, mm -hmm. and he said unto him, Right. Why call us? He said, the man asked him, what good thing I should do? And Christ said, Amen, yeah. So hey, why are you calling me good brother? Right? There is no one good. But you know what Christ saying as a humble man, as the kind of spirit you want to have, the kind of, the kind of, the kind of example you want to set for you, and I'm coming up. Right. To make sure they always have a right mindset towards the most high and your people. You done? And he said unto him, mm -hmm. Why call us thou me good? Right. There is none good, mm -hmm. but one. Right. That is God. That is Lord. So Christ reiterating again, showing every time they come and ask him a question, what to do? He pointed to the study, the, 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 the schematic, the manual. You think to make sure that you, that you, that you walk right. That's you think right. to make sure that you don't die, you won't suffer. You understand? By serving the Lord. By understanding his laws, his commandments, judgment, and applying it. You don't? But if thou will enter into it, into life. If you want to enter into life, go ahead. Keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. If you want to live, keep the commandments of the Lord. That's going to make sure that you're secure. The Lord is going to make sure you protect you. And maybe you're not danger. All right? Come on, tell. All right? Um, give me first John chapter 2, verse 3. All right? So your pastors have not taught you how to love the Lord. This is the last thing we're going to touch you real quick. It's an important thing to understand. So to give honor. Where do you give respect? Where do you? The Lord is saying, This is how you love him. Verse John chapter, chapter 3, chapter 2, verse 3. Right? This is how, the, this is how you make and show that you, backing up what it is, you say. Right? This is what I want to see from you. 
all children of Israel, all Native American Indians, Hispanics, and so called Negroes. Read on. First John chapter 2, verse 3. Read on. And hereby, mm -hmm. we do know that we know him. This is how the Lord says we know him. These pastors do not know him. Here's what the Bible is going to prove that the so called religious leaders do not know the Lord. Read on. If we keep his commandments, if we keep his commandments, that is how I prove that you know the Lord. That is how I prove the Lord know you because you obey exactly what daddy said. You understand? Read on. Verse 4. Uh -huh. He that. Wait. We don't look up, look up there. He that sinned. Right. I know him uh -huh. and keep it not his commandments. Mm -hmm. He's a liar. Right? So the pastors that are telling you that the laws are done away with, the Lord is saying that he is a liar because he's not keeping the commandments of the Lord, neither is he teaching it. Read on. And the truth is not in him. The truth is not in your religious leaders, in your so-called pastors, right. in your so-called priests. Right. The truth is not in them. That's right. That is the house of lies, the house of the deceiver, the house that follow after the so-called oppressor. Right. The devil the Bible speaks of. Read on. Verse 7. Yes. Right. Verse 5. Right. But whosoever uh -huh. keepeth his commandments right. in him, verily I say, there's love of God perfected. Right. So here the Lord said, He that keep his commandments, verily in him is the love of the love of the most high protect as, as um, perfected. Right. Because he continues to apply. It becomes, to be, it becomes to be what you call a second nature. It becomes to be something now that will continue to infect your communities in a proper way, in the right way, how the Lord designed it to be. Because this is what you have to pass on to your generation and generation. We have not got the law of the Lord, the protection from the Lord, passed on to our communities. That is why we are continuing to be destroyed as a people today. Right? So called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Indians, we are destroyed because the pastors, the religious leaders, do not have the love of the Lord in them. That's they right. have not perfected the love of the Lord. But Commander General Yahana and the ISPK have done it That's and right, continue right. to do it. We are the people that the Lord has set up to make sure to teach you how to live a right. You should come and inquire more. We want you to ask all your questions. Come to class. Find out how you can come and fix your communities. You understand? That's my time. Give it up for the next powerful speaker. All right, that's right. That's right. right. ISPK out of 1 West on June 21st Street, out of New York, and the Commander General Yahana. Shalom. Go in on the street, them bad. Gun talking up with jeans, member. If any somebody ever treat them bad, send the post to them, but meet them God. Louis V kicks up on we feed them bad. Catch a new drip, dub the beat them bad. Look how we just come and we a beat them bad. You know, sister, we is them dad. Hey, but anyway, though, this are no playground. The clock 19, they have to stay round. Nah, take no check with me payroll. Anything rise up, they down. Them a send check, but they won't. Dog, we will make it step if they don't. But at the same old, same old. Said them want smoke, but the grabber don't flame out. A couple gala come to. Gala WhatsApp, what she gonna come to? She a give me tap and she swallow some jaws. Gala suck cock till me jana turn blow. Bentley van a come to. Convert to the drop top, still have a sunroof. The dog, them rules, chop your one proof. Alright, wanna move, wanna move. Anyway, my dogs go in the street, them bad. Gun talking, I'm a jeans member. If any somebody ever treat them bad, send the